Bank's Westpac was the last of the big four banks to report today. And combined, the big four banks saw half-year cash profits slump 43% to $8.3 billion. Westpac CEO Peter King says we are in the middle of a once-in-a-lifetime event. We're seeing lower interest rates. We're obviously dealing with COVID-19 and certainly seeing less demand from customers for lending. It's resulted in a 70% decline in half-year cash profit to $993 million. Impairment charges lifted to $2.2 billion, the bulk of which will cover the potential impact of COVID-19, resulting in the deferral of a decision on dividends. But the important thing at the moment is we have strengthened the balance sheet. We've got good capital levels and very strong liquidity and funding levels. It's also shifting its wealth management assets into a separate division in a move to simplify the business to get ahead of what was already a tough time for the sector, even before the outbreak. Because of difficulties in, in credit growth, uh, competition, new competition coming from, from new entrants, uh, as well as the costs of dealing with a number of issues that have emerged in the past from, from the Royal Commission. But it's the impact of the coronavirus which will drive the outlook. Today, the Australian Bureau of Statistics said 72% of Australian businesses reported that cash flow is expected to have an adverse impact on business over the next two months. 61% had registered or intend to register for the JobKeeper payment scheme. COVID has meant the banks are willing to accept lower margins. You know, they're giving up on loan holidays. And they know that some consumers and some businesses just won't be able to pay these loans back. Westpac has put more than 100,000 mortgages on hold, worth $39 billion. 31,000 business loan repayments have been deferred. If you defer your home loan, the interest charges do not stop. While Westpac expects unemployment will peak at 9%, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Unlike historical recessions, when often you can't see a way out uh, and the economy needs to be restarted often by the government, what we see is that as social distancing rules are moderated, that economic activity will come back.